have free will? Well, that question is framed from a philosophical perspective, right? I mean, the idea of fate and free will, those are the sort of things that are debated commonly among the Greek philosophers like Plato and Socrates and Aristotle. But what does the Bible say about free will? Well, the reality is it's never mentioned, at least not with that terminology. But what we do see in Scripture is that we are born in sin. We're born in Adam and we're born in the flesh. We've got a serious problem and we are certainly not free at the outset. We are born into a condition of being addicted to sin. That means that our decision making is certainly controlled by the power of sin. We're swayed in one direction rather than the other. And as a result, our righteousness is like filthy rags. And then, of course, we can't possibly please God because we're not made new and we don't have faith in Him yet. But something radical happens to us at salvation. You might say it's a heart surgery or a DNA swap. Out with the old and in with the new. What does that mean? Well, your old heart is taken out. It was a wicked heart. It was a deceitful heart. It certainly wasn't free. It was bound up. It lived in bondage to sin. But now you live in bondage to Christ. Maybe you don't like that terminology, but the Apostle Paul says he's a bond slave of Jesus Christ. He also says that we're constrained, that we're inspired and motivated by the love of Christ. That means we're really not free now either. I mean, we're free, don't get me wrong, but we have a bent. We have a natural bent toward righteousness. The Bible even says we're slaves of righteousness. So, free will? Uh, not exactly, because we called upon the name of the Lord and our will is not neutral anymore. We are meant to display Jesus and nothing else will satisfy. This is why the book of Ephesians chapter 6 says we have an undying love for Jesus Christ. Our will has now bent toward Him. Our heart is now inclined to love Him always. In fact, He cleaned house and moved in and He lives in our hearts forever. So, do you see why the notion of free will doesn't exactly fit? I mean, we start out in this world in bondage to sin. And now, we're slaves of righteousness. The bottom line is that humanity is meant to be influenced by something. We are always walking in dependency on some sort of thing. And at first, we're living in the flesh. And we're getting our identity from the flesh. And we're uh, slaves of sin. That's our very nature, our very core, our heart. And then we meet Jesus. We call upon the name of the Lord to be saved, and He does exactly that. He changes us from the inside out. We're no longer slaves to sin. We're slaves to righteousness. We're truly free by being bound to Christ forever. So free will, it just doesn't fit. Thank God that you now are a slave of righteousness and nothing else satisfies. You're allergic to sin and addicted to Jesus forever.